Delegates are quite optimistic that Sub-Saharan Africa will comfortably survive the current crisis uh, facing Europe. Wanda Williams spoke to Thelma Corbett, who's chief economist at NKC Independent Economists. If we just look at from a macroeconomic perspective and we just look at growth, because that's something that sort of is very important, um, the economies in Sub-Saharan Africa are, for the most part, growing quite strongly at this point in time. There are minor exceptions. If we look at, um, you know, Swaziland has obviously entered a recession this year and will definitely be in recession next year. Um, but for the most part, the other economies are showing very strong growth. And it's not just oil, and because oil prices are high, it's other commodities as well, but it's also services and it's also agriculture. I mean, the agricultural story in, in Africa is enormous. Um, if you look at the um, global arable land, Africa's got, you know, between 50 and 60% of global arable land which is available for cultivation. It's in Africa. It's in sub-Saharan Africa. So the investment potential is enormous and together with that you see continuous improvements in, in the business environment. If you look at a country like Rwanda, um, over the uh, past five years, you know, if, um, the World Bank doing business index is right, it, uh, it's the top African country in the world in terms of making improvements in its business environment and it's also in, in terms on a global basis, it's the second best performing country in the world in terms of Im improving its business environment. But it's not only Rwanda, it's Mali, it's Burkina Faso, it's Ghana, it's Kenya, it's Nigeria all making improvements in their business environment. So you see a sort of shift in terms of where it's becoming easier to do business and where the risks are actually declining, um, generally speaking, from a political and an economic perspective, bar exceptions. We've seen a lot of increase in political risk in North Africa. But if you look at Sub-Saharan Africa, you see a general decline in political risk. You look at the um, very successful Zambian elections, you look at the successful Nigerian elections, um, you look at the referendum in Kenya of August last year for the new constitution which was promulgated, very positive. So very positive moves overall in, in many countries for in the terms of political risk and also economic risk, making the case for, for business quite obvious, especially combined with strong economic growth prospects.